James Banks here for Definitive Esports, and I'm here with Axiom Cranker, the ESET UK Masters. Now, to start with the first question I'd like to ask Crank is about Axiom. Now, you have a very talented roster with a lot of skilled players in, but are there plans for you to expand into a bigger team? Uh, so at the moment, he doesn't have any immediate plans to expand at the moment. Now, um, working with two big names in the scene of Total Biscuit and Husky um, is, is a massive feat and they're, they're kind of the sole providers for Axiom. How is your relationship with them and um, what have you got any interesting stories from your dealings with them so far? Uh, so in the beginning, um, he thought it was quite a, it was a formal relationship, but now he feels that they're almost like friends, and his teammates like uh, put funny photos on Reddit and things, so it's it's pretty casual. So having a casual team like that does that improve the the team's performance by having such a, a close knit relationship? 거의 친구 같은 관계 있으니까 그 팀하고 그 스폰서들의 그래서 그게 더 좋은 것 같아요. 야, 저는 많은 팀들에 와 있었는데 있었었는데 그러니까 좀 딱딱한 관계일수록 소통이 잘안 되고 이렇게 얘기가 잘안 통하더라고 커뮤니케이션이 안 되더라고요. 그래서 지금 팀에 대해서 아무런 불만도 없고 지금 이런 관계가 너무 좋아요. So he says that in the past, when he's been in more sort of formal, more rigid teams, um, communication was a bit hard. But now that he's in quite not a casual but a more comfortable team, he feels that communication is very good between everyone, and he's he has no problems. Now, you guys in DSTL today, it was very close at three three, so everything was on edge. Total Biscuit was going crazy on Twitter. You were tweeting, um, and then you came through and won the four three. Now. How did that make you feel knowing your team had managed to win and you weren't there? You like just explain some of the emotions you were going through. Um, so he says that he might be being modest, but he doesn't feel that he's got a massive part in the team, like they're their own entities. And so um, he's really happy that they got through, even though he wasn't there. And um, he's just happy, and then now he pra he's practicing, okay, by himself. Now, um, for 2013, you have a, a lot of fans over here away from Korea. Do you have any plans for any events that you can confirm that you're going to be attending now? あ、もう、ほんじろそうの多分イベントが딱히정해진건없고요。もう、いぼんてえどてけ우연우연치않게딱뭐라고해야되지그러니까대교어쩌다보니까오게됐어요그렇게어떻게됐는데그러니까제가
Okay, so he says at the moment he has no definite plans for the coming year and um, I asked him how he got here because he said it was by chance and um, he said he put on Reddit like to his fans that he's quite like bored, I'm not, I haven't done any tournaments and by chance someone said oh you should come here, you should come here and uh, play and so he says if there's any more opportunities in the future then he's happy to do it but at the moment he has no plans. So the fans have to come tell you when more events are and then you'll come. <laughs> so um, what I think would be really nice if we could get from Crank is if you could say any words in English to your fans out there because I know they love it when you do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should I? Yeah, uh, try. Okay. Uh, actually, I could not keep playing StarCraft without you guys so I'm always glad that you are cheering for me so if you guys are cheering for me I will win this tournament thank you thank you very much crank now the final few questions we've got here just about the event in general now we're starting to get further on the event have you been watching any of the players that are uh, getting through the current group stages and um, are there any players that you're you're now kind of looking at and thinking, oh, these might be a bit of a challenge? 이제 그게 시작했잖아요. 그리고 다른 선수들 어 하는 거를 봤고 그리고 좀 무서운 사람 있나 있는지 음, 아무래도 그냥 한국 선수들이랑 전 대회에서 성적을 잘낸 뭐 블링이나 다른 선수들이 많더라고요. 그런 선수들이 좀 어, 경기를 보면서 조금 조금 조심해야겠다 이렇게 생각은 들지만 <웃음> 이게 아침에 와서 게임을 해보니까 제 컨디션이 별로 좋지가 않더라고 일단 게임을 하기 전이니까 이 핑계는 아니잖아요 지금 아직 그래서 별로 <웃음> 그렇게 감이 안 좋아서 빨리 감을 찾아야 될것 같아요. Uh, so he says that um, there obviously are the three Korea uh, two Koreans and him, and there are big names, uh, European names such as Bling, that's what he said. Um, and he came to practice this morning, but apparently he feels that his condition isn't top-notch, so um, he's trying to get on top of that. And also, uh, he did watch some of the players play like this morning, and he thought, oh, I need to be careful. <laughs> so slightly bit more challenging than we, we might have thought to go in with. Um, so, what has been your favourite thing about the event so far, and what have you enjoyed the most? You and I first ate as a jelly to Adam Gaboya. Ah, 대회를 많이 다녀봤는데 해외. 그러니까 이렇게 많은 사람들이 자기 컴퓨터를 가져서 이렇게 mm. 게임하는 걸 실제로 처음 봤어요. Okay. 거기다가 일단 사람도 많고 뭐 건물 다시 건물이 좋을 수도 있겠지만 일단 연습하는데 전혀 춥지 않아 가지고 <웃음> 그게 가장 좋아요, 진짜로. Um, so he says he's been to lots of tournaments before in the past, but um, this is the first time that there's been so many people, like people who are bringing their own computers and gaming, and he's really impressed about the size of the building as well. Um, his best thing is that he's not cold when he's practicing. <laughs> yeah, even though there's snow outside, we're trying to keep it as warm as possible, so it's quite nice and cosy. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. Is there anything else you'd like to say on any shout outs? Oh,他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。他们不会过。